Hello Aquarius, Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid, so it's either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. That is Aquarius currently view this relationship. All right, let's see what's going on Aquarius. So we do have the king of swords we have the five of wands and then we also have the ten of swords the bottom of the deck we do have the knight of wands and then we also have the empress okay so i feel like you're dealing with this empress i don't feel like you are the empress now for those of you who are going to find yourself resonating more so with the empress uh, you're going to find yourself resonating more with the uh, person to the right of me than you are to the person uh, to the left of me but for the sake of the reading so that way i don't get confused um i'm gonna go ahead and say that you're this um king of swords that's currently connecting over here um with this empress you know the moment that i saw the knight of wands right next to the empress you know the first thing that came to my mind is that i do kind of feel like you are a little crazy about this empress uh, that's one thing that i will say so one can say that you're madly in love with them that's definitely a possibility right um but i am definitely getting strongly that you're very very crazy about this empress <sighs> there's an overall energy though of you essentially feeling like your 2.5 seconds i guess from like losing this empress for good but it's mainly because it's mainly because there's somebody that you feel extremely threatened by um whoever this someone is that you feel extremely threatened by um i'm not picking up on them just yet i do want to look at the five of wands because i feel like the five of wands is going to tell me exactly who you feel uh threatened by but there's like an overall energy of you essentially feeling like somebody wants your empress somebody wants to take this empress away from you and you feel very very threatened um by someone in particular with the king of swords that's kind of telling me that you're trying your hardest to kind of put on like this poker face that like oh like i'm not bothered i'm confident i'm not worried that such and such is going to take my empress away but again i feel like this is just kind of like a poker face that you're putting on this is kind of how you feel internally um but externally you're kind of putting this like you know you know poker face on like you're not bothered and or you know upset you know that uh, there's clearly somebody here that you think is trying to take your empress away from you um yeah, there's just like an overall energy of you feeling really, really threatened by someone. There's just an overall energy of you essentially feeling like, man, like I'm about to lose this empress to such and such. Uh, let's look at the five of wands. Tell me more about the five of wands. Okay. Oh, look. We got the three sevens out here. So you got the seven of wands. Come here. We have the seven of wands. We got the seven of pentacles. We also have the moon, and then we also have the seven of cups out here. Whoever this person, ah, uh, okay. I'm like, where is this person that you're feeling so threatened by? Where is this person at? Okay, so we got a king of wands out here. We got a king of wands out here. Okay. Listen, I think that it is safe to say, right, that this King of Wands is very interested in your Empress in a romantic way. For those of you who do not know this, the person that's actually in the Strength card is the Empress. So we do have a King of Wands out here that's taking a lot of interest in this Empress that you currently find yourself connecting with. Uh, with the Five of Cups coming out here... With the Five of Cups coming out here, this is interesting because I feel like this Empress and this King of Wands have history with one another. I don't feel like this is like a fairly new person, you know what I mean, that's showing up here for them um, out of the woodworks. I do believe that, you know, this King of Wands and this Empress have um, history. It just kind of looks like initially, right, when these two were, I guess, involved with one another, it kind of looks like, um, you know, this relationship didn't really manifest into absolutely anything is kind of what I'm getting. I don't even feel like these two ever had, like, a committed relationship or anything like that. Um, if anything, if they did have anything, I would say that it was probably, like, a friends with benefits sort of situation. I'm getting, like, a very surface level relationship, so, like, a friendship, um, a friends with benefits sort of situation, but as far as, like, you know, a committed relationship between these two i'm gonna go ahead and say no i feel more confident in saying that they either had like a friendship or like 
a friends with benefits sort of situation, just, you know, something along those lines. There's also like an overall energy of this King of Wands feeling like they weren't necessarily good enough uh, for this Empress, which is, you know, obviously kind of making me feel like these two have a history of one another because I kind of feel like, you know, this, this King tried to pursue, you know, this Empress in a meaningful connection with them, but for whatever reason, it kind of looks like it just didn't reach that point, uh, which ultimately caused this King to feel like they weren't good enough for this person, you know, things of that nature. But, but Aquarius, okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say you don't have anything to worry about, but I get why you would think you do, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and say you really don't have anything to worry about, but I understand, like, why you would feel like you have everything to basically worry about, you know, I just kind of feel like you're looking at this King of Wands and you're basically, like, you know, thinking to yourself that they're interested in them in that way and that they want to take them away from you, you know, things of that nature, um, Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing is that, like, you're kind of coming across to me as, like, a part, you know, of you trusts this empress and a part of you just doesn't know if you should, to be completely honest. So the fact that you're you're being faced with a situation where you kind of feel like there's another king that wants your empress and you don't really know if you could honestly trust this empress enough to, like, not even allow anything to happen here between you and them, um, you know, does kind of, like put you on edge because on one hand I feel like you feel you can trust them but on the other hand you feel like you can't um and I feel like you have your reasons as to why you feel like you can't trust them I don't feel like you just woke up one day and just decided I'm not gonna trust this person today no like I kind of feel like you have your reasons as to why you feel like you can't trust that this empress would not allow anyone or anything, right, to come in between the two of you. So, you know, then there's then there's that, all right? Let's look at this Empress of yours. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. Okay. Um, let's talk. So in regards to, um, in regards to, uh, this is crazy in regards to, um, how this Empress over here is currently viewing this entire relationship with you. I gotta be honest. Okay. I gotta be honest. If you are voicing to this, uh, Empress of yours, you know, how you feel about this King and how you don't like the relationship that they have, you know, things of that nature. I currently don't really see them doing anything. Um, I don't really see them doing anything to be completely honest. In other words, um, I don't know if you're you're communicating all of this to this empress in hopes that they'll stop talking to them in hopes that you know they'll just simply cut them off because to be honest, I don't I don't see them cutting them off. I don't see them deciding to not continue to you know remain in contact with them. It, it, it's like this person is just kind of choosing to just not do anything about this entire situation is like the best way that I can basically describe what it is that I'm seeing here with the King of Swords to the Seven of Wands um, to the full coming out here. I feel like you're really pushing like this Empress to either cut them off or, or stop all communication here with them because of the way that, um, you know, it's making you feel. It's making you feel like, yo, like this person's after my Empress. Like I'm not having that. You know what I mean? Um, but I got to be honest, even if you are communicating to this Empress that you don't want them talking to them anymore, hanging out with them anymore, being friends with them anymore. I don't see this Empress doing anything. I don't, I don't see them I don't see them doing anything. Um, how does um, this Empress view the relationship with the King of Wands? <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups. We have the uh, Eight of Cups. We also have the Ten of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Hermit. And then we also have the Chariot to the Four of Swords, to the Five of Wands, to the Five of Swords. Alrighty then. This to me kind of feels like an overall energy of this Empress feeling pulled in two different directions. In two different directions, okay? Um, is like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. By the way, um, I feel like this Empress is consciously aware that this King of Wands is very interested in them in a romantic way. They may have not confessed all of that to you, but I feel like this Empress is consciously aware that this um 
this king of wands over here is definitely interested in them in a romantic way i'm gonna be honest i just don't feel like the feeling is essentially mutual i don't feel like this queen looks at this king and they start thinking to themselves like oh my god like i would just love to run off into the sunset with you like absolutely not i'm definitely not getting that whatsoever the feeling is not essentially mutual see this king might see a future here with this uh, empress over here but this empress does not see a future here with them so you know then there's that um here's the thing right is that i kind of feel like this king they're definitely fighting for what they want here with this empress right they they, they want to be with them they want to build towards a meaningful connection here with them right and then see here you are coming in right fighting to keep this empress in your life fighting um you know to get them to stop talking to this individual surrounding themselves with this individual but like i said it just kind of looks like this empress is choosing to kind of sit here um and not do anything about you and what you're communicating to them and the same thing you know for this king it's like they're choosing to not do anything um you know with this king in regards to what they're basically communicating to them and you know what they want here with them it's like they're just choosing here to you know they're just simply choosing to kind of sit here and do absolutely nothing um you know with the eight of pentacles to so the hermit to the chair to the four of swords coming out here you know the fact that this person feels like they're being pulled in two different directions they don't like it the fact that you're bringing you know conflict to them they don't like it the fact that this king is bringing conflict to them and they don't necessarily like it it's like this person's choosing to just simply distance themselves from you and this king of wands and it's coming from a place of them essentially feeling like they rather invest their time and energy towards something more beneficial than you know how you feel about this king of wands being in their life and how this king of wands you know wants to be with them and how this king of wands you know doesn't want them with you anymore you know what i mean like they just kind of feel like there's other things that they rather do with their time than to kind of sit here and try to work things out here with you or to sit here and turn around and give this one over here what they want um so with that being said it kind of looks like this 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 queen slash empress is choosing to not bother themselves with what's going on on your end and what's going on on their end all right how does this person currently feel we have the three of swords we got the four of wands and then we also have the uh, ten of swords the bottom of the deck we got the four of pentacles and then we also have the uh queen of swords true pair situation by the way between you and this person so the fact that this queen is choosing to kind of sit here and not take how you feel into consideration and the fact that you know this you know queen is sitting here you know not really turning around and giving this king what they want which is basically a meaningful connection here with them um i just kind of feel like they're allowing things to kind of like spiral out of control at this point by just sitting there doing absolutely nothing um to the point where i do kind of see them at the verge at the verge of basically losing you and what they have here with you because at the end of the day you're human right you can only take so much from a person so the fact that you know this person's not taking how you feel into consideration the fact that you know this person is just kind of continuing right to like i guess disregard in a way how you feel within this relationship it's going to naturally cause you to not want to be a part of this connection anymore um and and that's kind of why i see them at the verge of basically losing you um and, and what they share with you and i kind of feel like the moment that they find themselves you know at the verge of losing you in this relationship that they share with you that's when i kind of see them doing what they have to do to basically keep you in this relationship that they share with you intact and afloat i'm kind of curious to see what this person is actually going to do but i'm more about the queen of swords We have the Ten of Cups, we got the Lovers, we also have the Ace of Cups, and then we also have the Wheel of Fortune. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Tower, we also have the Three of Wands, and then we also have the uh, King of Swords. So, in regards to what this person plans on doing um i do see this person in the end basically kind of deciding to take how you feel about this entire situation into consideration to basically prevent them from basically losing you and everything that they've been able to basically build with you thus far look at it as them starting to kind of finally see the bigger picture here okay the fact that they're not really taking you and how you feel into consideration is causing them to potentially lose you and what they've been able to essentially build with you thus far over somebody that they don't even foresee themselves having a future with okay so once this moment does happen and they see that you're at the verge of deciding to just up and leave them in this relationship that the two of you share with one another that's when i feel like this one over here is going to really see the bigger picture here and kind of realize what they're doing here um they're jeopardizing i would say you and the relationship that they've essentially built with you thus far and it's 
it's over someone that yes wants to be with them but they don't want to be with them you see what i mean like i feel like this king wants to be with this this queen of yours i just don't feel like the feeling is essentially mutual you see what i mean um so then there's that um how does aquarius currently feel aquarius uh the page of pentacles actually fell to the ground so let me pick it up and i'll be right back we're back. So we have the page of pentacles. We got the page of wands. And then we also have the um, six of cups out here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of sword. We also have the two of wands with the two of pentacles. So in regards to um, how you're currently feeling um, about this relationship, I do see you venting to someone and it could be like a friend of yours or family member of yours, but I do kind of see you venting to someone about your relationship with this uh, queen over here. Um, and I feel like the main reason why you're venting to this person is because you need some help. You need some guidance, you know, as much as you may love this person, as much as you may want to be uh, with this person, you don't like the way that your relationship has been playing out here between you and them. So there's an overall energy of you just needing somebody to basically talk to because I feel like right now you currently find yourself stuck on how to even move forward um, at this point in time. Should you continue to remain in this connection here with them or should you just exit this connection? So I do want to look at the Page of Wands and the Page of Swords. Tell me more about the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Not the Page of Swords, sorry. Okay, so we have the um, Two of Swords. We got the Ace of Wands. We also have the Seven of Pentacles to the uh, Two of Cups out here. The bottom of the deck, we got the star. We also have the seven of cups with the knight of wands. And then we also have the strength card to the ace of cups to the, um, this is between you and I, um, Aquarius and this queen doesn't need to know all of this. Okay. Let's just start off with this. Let's just start off with this right here. Um, whoever this person is that you're venting to, I feel like they're basically telling you something that you don't want to hear. Okay. So they're probably telling you something along the lines of you should really leave him. You should really, really leave her. Right. They're probably telling you something along those lines. Right. Um, and listen, deep down inside, you want to be with this, you know, Empress deep down inside, you know, this is somebody that you want to continue to invest more time and energy towards. Right. So with all of that being said, it's pretty evident to me that you're very dead set on this Empress and what you want with this Empress. Also, too, you know, there's an overall energy of you essentially feeling like this person has everything that you could ever ask for within a man or within a woman to the point where you feel like if you were to walk away from this relationship, the likelihood, right, of you finding somebody else who possesses the amount of things that they basically possess, you know, you feel like you're probably never going to find that ever again so that's what's also kind of keeping you in this you know situation with this person um not only that and this is why i'm saying this is just between you and i not only that but a lot of you feel like if you were to up and leave this entire relationship Yeah, a lot of you feel like if you were to up and leave this relationship, you're just creating an opportunity for this one over here um, to take, you know, what once upon a time, you know what I mean, belonged to you. And that doesn't sit well with you. That does not sit well with you. It's like you just don't want this king to experience what you've been able to experience with this empress. And don't get me wrong, I feel like you've had your, you know, you know, your bad moments with this empress, but it kind of looks like in your eyes anyways, um, the good has, has, yeah, the good has always, um, outweighed the bad, but see, that's just your whole thing is that, yo, I don't want to leave because if I do leave, like this one's going to come in, right? And take what once upon a time belonged to me. And that doesn't sit well with me either. So that's just kind of where you're, you're at right now. You just don't want to create an opportunity for this one to take what once upon a time belonged to you by leaving, um, this person, by leaving this relationship. Okay, let's keep going. What actions? We have the Knight of Swords, we got the Hierophant, and then we also have the... Um... Okay, wait a minute. We have the Queen of Wands with the Hierophant to the Knight of Swords, to the Five of Pentacles, to the... Uh... Mm death card a lot of you feel like the moment that your empress or like queen whatever have you right started interacting i guess with this king of wands you know a lot of you feel like this person has you know drastically changed has drastically changed and not in a positive way in a negative way it's like you look at this king of wands as somebody who's like a massive like 
yeah it's like you look at this king of wands as somebody who has like a massive influence on your person's life to the point where now they're starting to act different now they're starting to treat you different now they're starting to kind of move differently right within this connection to the point where you know you, you basically feel like you're losing like the the man and or woman that you initially fell in love with is like the best way that i can basically describe what it is that i'm seeing here now with the king of pentacles to the eight of swords to the uh eight not the eight of cups the king of pentacles to the eight of swords to the ten of cups to the four of wands that's kind of telling me that despite the fact that you notice that your person is drastically changing in ways that you don't necessarily like and or even approve of i don't see you i don't see you leaving i don't see you um I don't see you leaving. I, I still kind of see you trying, right, to make this marriage and or relationship work here um, between you and them. You're also kind of falling also, too, um, into this energy of essentially feeling like you just kind of have to bite down on your tongue about how you feel about certain things. And it's mainly stemming from a place of you essentially feeling like, well, what's the point? Like, what's the point of me talking to this queen and telling them how I feel? It's not like they're going to take how I feel into consideration. It's not like they're going to do everything that they can on their end to fix it or make me feel better so what's the point you know and you're, now you're kind of reaching this point of basically feeling like you can't even talk to this person about absolutely anything because you know what's the point they're not going to take how you feel into consideration anyways so you're kind of learning to just you know keep things to yourself and, and and bottle like you know how you basically feel about them and the things that they basically do um is like the best way that i can describe what it is that i'm seeing here what actions will this person take Okay. We have the sun, we have the justice card, and then Okay. All right. So we have the sun to the justice card to the two of pentacles. Moving forward, I do see this person trying to make things right here with you. I do see this person trying to bring balance into this entire situation. They're kind of coming from a place of listen, like I just want things to be good between us, right? Like they're kind of coming from that place, but I don't see how they would want things to be good between the two of you when they're still kind of keeping, you know, this person in particular around. Now, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Um, by them continuing to not take how you feel into consideration, by them continuing to keep this person around that's clearly causing issues here between the two of you, it's going to continue to cause issues here between the two of you. See what I mean? It's going to continue to cause issues here between the two of you. I just don't see how they want things to be good. I just don't see how this person wants things to be like A-OK -okay here between the two of you when... They're, 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 they're still choosing to keep the problem around. You know what I mean? The problem being this King of Wands over here. I want to rewind real quick and look at this King of Wands. <clears throat> okay. We have, oh, God. We have the Ace of Pentacles to Nine of Swords to the uh, Knight of Cups to the uh, Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the... Um, Ten of Pentacles. Mm -mm. Yeah. See, here's... And this person kind of comes off to me as somebody who's very, like, hypocritical, right? Because, I, I gotta be honest, I kind of feel like this King of Wands kind of knows to a degree that by continuing to pursue this queen of yours, by continuing to involve themselves with this queen, it is causing issues here between you and them. I feel like to a degree, this person's consciously aware of all of this. And, you know, there's like an overall energy of them essentially feeling bad, right? Um, that they're causing issues here between you and them. But let's just be real. This person doesn't really feel bad. They, they, they want what they want at the end of the day. And what they want is your person. And what they want is for the two of you to just simply part ways from one another all over again so they can kind of swoop in um, and basically take your place. Let's just call a thing a thing today, right? Um, and I kind of feel like to a degree, that's kind of probably why, um, you know, this, this queen of yours is choosing to keep this person around. It has a lot to do with what they're communicating to them, you know. They're more than likely communicating to them something along the lines of like, oh, I feel bad that I'm causing problems between you and this person. I feel so bad. Like, you know, I really, really do. I don't want you guys to have problems. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, yes, they do. It does not benefit this king 
it doesn't benefit this king um, to, to, to sit here and respect what, what you guys have here with one another. Because if they sit back and respect what you guys have with one another, the likelihood of your queen continuing to be with you is very possible to happen. So no, it does not benefit them to sit here and respect this relationship, nor are they going to. You know what I mean? Um, I just kind of feel like they're filling this queen's head with things that are just simply not true. Like, oh, like I respect, like... You know what you guys got going on and I don't want to cause any issues and you know I feel bad and oh my goodness I'm so sorry they don't feel bad it does not freaking benefit them to sit here and not cause problems between you and them the more problems they can cause the better right because then that could prompt the two of you to basically break up and that could prompt you to exit the picture and that could prompt them to have a better chance and opportunity with them see it's kind of hard for them to have a chance and opportunity with your queen if you're still kind of in the picture and that's the thing right is that i feel like you and this person are more than likely of the same sex because you guys think the same you guys think the same remember when i was like um breaking down like this energy um of you essentially feeling like yo like if i leave right like this one over here is going to come in and swoop up, like swoop in and take my place right like remember i was breaking that down like more than likely you guys are basically the same sex because i just noticed that you guys kind of think similar um and you know like how us women right we think similar and then y'all you know men basically think the same right um so with that being said i don't know maybe i could be reading two different you know dudes here two different women here i don't know you guys gender or anything like that but i will say that more than likely you guys are you guys more than likely are the same gender more than likely you guys are more than likely but anyways point is um is that i just feel like this queen doesn't realize that by keeping this one over here around they're just going to cause problems. I don't care what the hell they're telling them. They can sit here and tell them, yo, like, I'm not trying to cause any problems. I feel so terrible. They can sit here and say that all they want, but they're going to still cause problems. Um, because, again, it's like they have a better chance with this queen, with you being out of the picture than you being in the picture. So if they have to sit here and cause problems here and there, uh, that's just what they're going to do. I mean, their game plan is already basically working. It kind of looks like y'all are already having problems. So, I mean you see what i mean you know what i mean it's not a coincidence that you guys are having issues i think that that's exactly what this king wants this king wants you guys to have issues this king wants you guys fighting this king wants you guys arguing this king wants the two of you to really question why are you guys even with each other like that's what this king basically wants and it kind of looks like this person's master plan is basically kind of working out in a way in their favor because you guys are fighting you guys are arguing kind of looks like you guys haven't broken up or anything like that um but are you guys fighting and arguing and you know, are you thinking about leaving? And are they thinking about leaving too? Absolutely. But that's exactly what this king wants to happen here between you and them. For those of you who are even slightly interested, even slightly interested in this king of wands over here, one thing that I will say is that um, the, the grass won't be greener on the other side. That That's one thing that I will say. Um, and I say this a lot in my readings. It's It's very hard to like build with a king of wands um or even establish anything meaningful with a king of wands and it's mainly because there's still a lot of growing up that needs to take place on a king of wands's behalf um there's still a lot of maturing that needs to take place on a king of wands behalf um there's still a lot of life experience that needs to take place on a king of wands behalf in order to be able to create and, and, and sustain um a marriage and or relationship and this is why oftentimes um People don't normally bet on a king of wands because of that. Um, so with that being said, it's just something to kind of take into consideration. But that's what I have. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.